Hello YouTube, my name is Lauren. Welcome to my new vlog. Today's vlog will be all about my experience with Invisalign. Um, for starters, I'm actually not going through Invisalign. I'm going through the generic version, which is called Sure Smile. However, Invisalign, Sure Smile, uh, I think there's another one you can get through the mail. They're kind of all the same concept. So basically what they are is the invisible aligners for your teeth. So it's a more aesthetically pleasing version of braces. I'm sure you guys have all heard of it. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through my experience. I am in my fourth week of treatment with Sure Smile and pretty happy so far. So this all started about six months ago when I was at a routine dentist checkup and I noticed that my bottom teeth had started to crowd. So basically they were pushing each other out of place and Besides being not very aesthetically pleasing, uh, I chatted with an ortho orthodontist and what he told me is what can happen over time with overcrowding is um, your entire bite can change, which inevitably could lead to cracking tooth, even down to the root, um, which could lead to infection. Who named, like you name it, it could happen. So um, with my leg, I decided to better fix it sooner than later. And it's also a little, your experience will be a lot easier too than usually, um, the sooner you begin treatment, just because there's less movement that you have to do. So uh, basically I thought I only needed to do some alignment on my bottom teeth, but after my orthodontist went through and scanned my entire mouth, my top teeth actually needed a lot more movement than I had anticipated. Um, so all that being said, what happens at your first appointment, you go in, you meet with an orthodontist, dental hygienist, and kind of a financial consultant. They kind of take care of everything in one visit, which was really nice. So. Uh, after some photos and going through uh, what your teeth need and kind of where they're at, uh, the orthodontist can make a recommendation if you need any surgery, if you need to have traditional braces, or if clear aligners will work for you. So fortunately for me, clear aligners would work for me just because I didn't need too much movement quite yet. So um, towards the end of that appointment, what they do is they do a 3D imaging scan of your the inside of your entire mouth. And what that enables to them to do is show you uh, how the movement of your teeth will go over the course of your treatment, which is really neat because you get a before and an after before even going through treatment, which was really exciting. And I'm sure they obviously do that so that you decide to go through with treatment. But um, just even knowing that I was doing something for my teeth that would protect me in the long run was important to me. So um, at that first appointment, I did have my 3D imaging scan done and I decided to go ahead and have them make my molds. So because my treatment wasn't gonna be that intensive, uh, I will probably only have to go through one or two phases. So in my first phase, I was given seven bottom aligners and nine top aligners. So what they look like when you pick up your kit, you get a box from your orthodontist and they give you, for me, they gave me all of my entire first phase at one time. So in this box, um, and this is, these are old aligners, so these ones are a little bit more gross than um, the new clean ones I haven't used yet, obviously, so sorry about that. But so my first week, you can see here, I have the top and the bottom. And then I go all the way through week nine, and my week nine is only my top. So um, they believe that my top teeth will be done with treatment at around week seven. So my week seven is in here and you can see it's pretty straight, which is kind of neat. Um, and then I will just use that same retainer uh, through the rest of my remaining treatment for weeks eight and nine with my new top aligners. Hopefully that makes sense. But um, at the end of nine weeks, I will go back in to my orthodontist. So this entire time I'm not having to go into my orthodontist. Every week I change out my trays on Monday morning. And at the end of the treatment, I will go in and depending on how I feel about the movement of my teeth, as well as how my orthodontist feels, they'll kind of um, just make a new plan at that time. Either I'll be finished with treatment or I can go through another phase, uh, phase two, which is called the refinement stage. So if there's any little tweaks or anything you need finished, they can uh, make a couple more molds for your teeth at that time. Also at that time, you can decide if you'll want to be doing a permanent retainer or you'll get another set of like, um, Another set of clear, like your last set of aligners, which you'll wear, wear as a retainer basically for the rest of your life. You can just wear it overnight or whatever. But right now with my current treatment, I um, they recommend that you wear your aligners at least 22 hours a day, which is kind of a lot. But um, if you're only taking them out to eat or drink, you really shouldn't have any issues. If you are drinking anything besides water or eating anything at all, you do need to take your trays out. Um, and once you're finished eating or drinking, you need to make sure that you clean your teeth really well. So 
All that being said, I actually have a little travel kit that I carry with me everywhere I go because um, I'm on the run a lot. I travel a ton for work, so I'm always having to make sure I can brush my teeth in any bathroom that I can find. So in my little case, um, I just have a travel toothbrush. I have a couple different little mini travel size toothpastes. And then what you'll also get from your orthodontist are, they are called Chewies. And basically, I don't know if you guys can see this, basically what they look like Sorry about that. So um, every time you change out your trays, day one is usually a little bit difficult to get your new aligner in, that just being because it's a new movement for your tooth. So sometimes they don't see completely right on your teeth. So your orthodontist will give you these little chewies and um, you just kind of pop your trays in as much as you can and then bite down on these to make sure that you're getting them in place. Uh, if for more stubborn aligners, uh, your dentist will also give you kind of some of the little spit brushes that you get at the dentist and you can just kind of chop down on those to really get those aligners to seat correctly. You want to make sure they're on um, 100 percent seating all the way down on your teeth otherwise um, you're not going to get the movement that, that you want. So all that being said some of the main questions I've gotten are do you have a lisp? So I noticed for me personally the first day or two I was just because I had something foreign in my mouth um, I had a little bit of a lisp. Some letters were a little bit more difficult than others, but over time I adapted just because you're having them in your mouth so long that you just kind of get used to it. So I, I'd i like to think that my lisp is mostly gone. Um, on day one of new liners each week, they, because they're a little bit tighter and I'm in a little bit more pain, um, I guess my speech can vary a little bit for the first couple hours of the day, but that definitely goes away in a couple hours. And that's another question is pain. So. I would have, like, to be perfectly honest, the first day of your new set of aligners each week tends to be a little painful, and that's just because um, it's putting your teeth into a new movement, into a new pattern. So they're doing the most shifting on that first day or two. So until your teeth get used to that, um, you're going to be in a little bit of pain, but it's nothing that an ibuprofen or Tylenol can't take care of. And for me, I noticed that that mostly went away, honestly, after that first day or two, and then your uh, trays get a little bit looser as the week goes on too, which is really nice because the first day or two, they're kind of hard to pop in and out when you're trying to get something to eat or drink. So that can be a little bit annoying, but they also in your Invisalign kit, I'm trying to see if I have it in here, yes. So it's almost like a little grabber. And so what this can do is this hooks around your tray and just helps you kind of pull it out, which is really nice to have. Cause again, that first day or two, those trays are going to be really tight. So I think that's pretty much about it for right now. I am in week four. I'm pretty happy with how my teeth are shifting so far. Um, my four front bottom teeth were the teeth that bothered me the most, but I can definitely tell that, um, two of those four have shifted quite a bit already. So that's been really exciting for me. Uh, I do have an appointment again in like I think five weeks from now to go in and just kind of see how my treatment plan is going and if I'm happy with how my teeth are going. Something else that is really nice if you decide to go with an orthodontist for Invisalign or Sure Smiles at the end of your treatment, if you once your teeth are all in place and nice and perfectly straight, if you have any tiny chips or anything, they'll fix that cosmetic damage for you um, for free. Or at least for me, it's included in my, in my treatment. So kind of excited about that. So um I think that's about it. I will insert a before picture in here and then also a current picture of where my teeth are at right now. And then I'll probably do another update after my phase one is over with kind of my plan for the next either phase two or if I decided I'm finished. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Oh, something else I wanted to tell you guys. I also went through Accutane treatment this year, which was super exciting because I had pretty crappy skin, you guys. Pretty crappy. Um, and I had a really good experience with Accutane. And I know that there's a lot of misinformation and just kind of some bad reviews out there. So I want to just be able to talk about my experience and answer any questions you guys might have. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Here's Bobby.